This is the desecrated temple of all, a normal and hard. When you enter the wilderness for this quest, you'll probably want to make sure you're on the heroic version of the wilderness because the epic version is level 29 and you know the enemies have a lot of hit points. So I'd recommend going into the heroic wilderness to run this heroic quest. I'm going to do sort of a, a normal, a light the buffing, of the mainly for DPS and my as uh, angel skin for, even though the tooltip says 2 minutes 12 seconds, it gives me 18 minutes of PRR and MRR bonus. The catacombs are sealed by two so intricately locked boxes. we have to, you pull these levers and the levers open up each side, so there's basically two sides, each side has a key. You can see that opening up there. And when we get the key, we can open up. When we get both keys to open these up, we can go down here and move forward on the quest. So this is like a, you know, just just to enter the enter the the pit part. The only way you know, where we need to do this. And so you want to kind of go east and then north here in this. A long hall and it's trapped. Um, before you. So kind of stand right around here. And you'll have these. Whoop. So good. Not sure how that got activated, but all right. And then this side. Looks like it's only on the other side. Same thing here. Lastly, there's a trap kind of over here. And then uh, we'll have the hireling kind of heal us before we go up because uh, there's quells up here. And quells are an enemy we haven't encountered much, but they're a very annoying enemy. So they, they have a uh, ability called intercession where they basically make us lose our divine spells which is pretty much everything we have almost. So other than like greater heroism, but we lose our heals, we lose our lay on hands, uh, resurrection, anything that's considered a, a spell. Now, uh, uh, divine spell. It's a little bit, it's a little bit buggy. There are spells that are blocked by intercession that probably shouldn't be. And there are spells not blocked that probably should be. But for the most part, think of it as you can't heal. That's the main impact of it. I think it's the box on the other side. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, it's the opposite side box. And now we'll do this side. The hallways here have been crushed by the force that destroyed the temple. I'm going to keep the hireling back here this time. Hirelings don't do good in traps. The hallway ahead screams at death and dismemberment.
you hit with the intercession war intercession there's a few items in the game that have intercession ward that protects you from intercession uh, one of them might even be a great sword but they're pretty rare items and of course usually they're not very good by today's standard except for that one ability but if I get it I probably would use it in situations like this on high difficulties for sure All right, so that's the first the part of the quest, shudders, is to open this uh, the barrier. The temple. Dank, cold air pours out. All right, and so this is a, um, it seems like a maze, but it's not as bad as it seems. You just kind of follow the paths here. And uh, some of them will be closed, so you'll have to, you know, find another way to get to all the spots. But you have to find these vampire um, priests. And so they're going to be randomly in, uh, in the various rooms. So you just kind of explore, you know, explore all the areas until you find them. This is the way to uh, an optional to fight a bunch of Marut. It's kind of pretty cool. Um, Encourage you to explore it, kind of uh, explore it at some whenever you run this dungeon, a normal. Uh, I'm gonna skip it. And there's a priest, right? So this is not, is not that guy does not count towards the objective. This priest does. So we, so we get this one down. Now we have five left. All right. So let's go. Do we go this way yet? Okay, so the gate just closed, right? So that kind of happens. The gate sort of close on you and, you know, um, but there's always a way to get to every room when these gate closes. You might have to go the, the opposite way. So if this gate was closed, you'd have to go through that opposite end. Or
So, so a sigil. So I have my um, uh, sigil piece, or my sigil frame here. It's this, this black circle thing. I got that in, in the uh, when I did the orchard run. And so I'm just going to open this up, and you just kind of drag it onto here, and it will find the right spot. Spot. So, um, so we now have two of the eight pieces. And these eight pieces are needed to run the Litany of the Dead. All right, I'm going to pause it while I go to the uh, end reward and retake the quest. All right, so I'm stuck in a loading screen, so I'm going to have to break this into a normal and a hard video. Uh, because I can't, uh, once I close the client, the video just crashes on me. So that's... Uh, Desecrated Temple of All on normal, and I'm going to start up another video for hard. <laughs> 